Let's turn now to that national security case involving leaked classified documents. A Massachusetts Air National Guardsman accused of posting military secrets online. Well, he appeared in court this afternoon. CBS's Catherine Herridge reports that federal prosecutors want 21-year-old Jack Texasera to remain behind bars pending trial. Wearing an orange jumpsuit, 21-year-old Jack Texera sat impassively, and his family left the detention hearing without comment. After his dramatic arrest this month, prosecutors allege investigators found a gun locker in his bedroom at his mom's Massachusetts home, and weapons including rifles, AK-style weapons, and a bazooka. The court documents accuse the Air National Guardsman, who held a top-secret clearance, of searching online about mass killings at a Buffalo supermarket, a Uvalde, Texas elementary school, among others, and posted disturbing comments saying he wanted to, quote, kill a ton of people. Five years ago, it's also alleged Texera was suspended from high school for talking about Molotov cocktails, guns, and making racial threats. It was given his alleged history, how did Texera pass the background security clearance? The Air Force and the Department of Defense are also taking a look uh, at security protocols and practices here. I think the answer, the short answer to your question is we, we don't know. Texera's apparently threatening high school behavior was flagged to local police and initially blocked him from purchasing weapons. But that changed after Texera cited his position of trust in the U.S. government. After allegedly posting classified material on a social media platform, prosecutors accused Texera of smashing computers and a gaming console and telling others to delete all messages. The government says Texera began accessing highly classified materials in February last year, and not all of it has publicly surfaced and has the capacity to cause additional exceptionally grave damage to the national security. The Air Force temporarily suspended two commanders of Texera's unit and stripped them of their access to classified systems. Further disciplinary action has not been ruled out. And today, prosecutors suggested more charges are possible for Texera, who already faces 25 years if convicted. Nora. A lot of new information, Catherine. Thank you.